everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then i welcome you if you love watching handbag videos then definitely hit the subscribe button but let's go ahead and jump into this video today i am coming to you all with a handbag reveal along with a comparison but before I do that, I want to take the time out and just say that I appreciate and thank all of you who have done my tag so far. And y'all, I must say, even though I've been collecting Doonies for two years now, your videos have been really, really helpful to me. And I do now have a few more bags that are on my wish list. <laughs> Um, also, y'all, go and check out their videos. I have been linking them in my community tag as I watch them. So please go and check those out. And next up, I want to go ahead and show you all the bag that I am currently carrying. And that is my Dooney and Burke Greta Novelty Leisure Shopper. Yeah, y'all, this is the bag I'm currently carrying. Y'all know if you've been rocking with me for some time, then this is like one of my favorite Doonies in my collection and yeah I really love this bag if you all want to learn more about it then I will leave a link in the description below but yeah that is the bag that I am carrying as you all know um I am a big fan also of MCM now this bag that I am going to reveal to you all is going to be another list hope and it's actually going to be in a color that I had to warm up to because I wasn't a fan of this color at the beginning of my MCM journey even though this particular color is like one that MCM is known for so to reveal <laughs> yes y'all so I finally ended up pulling the trigger and purchasing the Liz in the cognac color and I am really shocked at myself that it took me so long to warm up to this color because now that I have it y'all this color is stunning I truly truly love it and I do have two other Liz's also so I will leave links to uh, those videos below too if you want to learn a little bit more about those yeah. I wanted to reveal this color to you all so that I can go ahead and go through the comparison so here are the two other bags that I have I do have it in the soft pink color which is absolutely gorgeous and then I also have it in the ruby red too which y'all I will never forget I saw the ruby red on DJ King's channel and from that moment forward I just knew that I wanted that bag um I tried to talk myself out of it for the longest and then when I finally made up my mind that I wanted it it was extremely hard to find but I did actually finally find it and I purchased this one in December of 2020 my soft pink one I actually purchased in September of 2019 now even though I purchased this one in 2019 and the red in 2020 there's a few changes to them so that's what I want to talk about today now I do want to go ahead and put it out there and say that bags made prior to 2018 are considered the older version and Joshi Michael actually did a comparison of the older version versus the newer version, which is pretty much the cognac and the red tote. So I'll also leave his video below because he did an awesome job of just pointing out the differences in comparing those bags. Now, I'm not really too sure when the changes took place between this bag and these two bags but they are different. If you purchased your bag after 2018, then it is still a chance that you have the older version. If you check your pouch and it has a gold zipper pull, then chances are you have the older version. Which is like super duper nice. Now don't get me wrong, I do still love these totes as well. So to get started, I will go ahead and tell you all up front that the canvas here on my pink list is thicker. Not that much thicker, but it is thicker than the canvas on my red and my cognac list. Um, you really can't tell by just looking at them, but if you feel them, then you can certainly like tell the difference on the thickness. 
as far as like the dimensions go on the tote, they are the exact same size. And I will post the dimensions in the description box below too so that you all can see the dimensions on them. But yeah, you still have the option to cinch them in on the sides if you choose to. The hardware for the most part is the same as well. Now I will say though that the color of the hardware is a little different. And you'll be able to see that when I compare the pouches. And then the leather trimming is still the same too. So I'll show them one by one so that you all can see. But the leather trimming on here is going to be pebbled leather. So as you can see, it is pebbled there. On the cognac, here is the soft pink and it is also pebbled. And then here is the red and the red is pebbled as well. So they all have the pebble leather trimming. And when it comes to the thickness of the straps, they are the same. So the thickness of the straps are did not change at all. So I'll try to zoom in on that so that you all can see that the thickness of them are still the same. And here are the bottoms of the bags too. So as you can see, they all do come with those leather tabs still. So no difference there at all. Now, the most changes that you can see are gonna be on the pouches here. Now, the cognac and the pink appears to be a little thinner than the red, but they are actually the same dimensions. None of them are padded, so they're very flimsy. As you can see, like, I can really bend these <laughs> pouches. Now, one thing that I did notice, though, is that the red and the cognac, as you can see, the straps on those, the leather strap is going to be a little thinner than the pink. Another thing that I noticed, too, are the pull tabs. So, as you all can see, the pull tab on the pink is shorter and a little wider than the cognac and the red. And again, the red and the cognac are the exact same. But the color of the hardware is a little different. So the um, pink almost appears to be more of like a white gold. But I'm assuming because of the colors of each of the pouches, the hardware is going to be different on all of them. So the cognac appears to be the most gold, like a yellow gold type almost. And then the red isn't as yellowish gold, but it is still gold. Same with the um, the pink. The hardware is a little lighter. It's more of like a light gold almost. But other than that, that's pretty much the only differences that I see on these pouches. Yeah, overall, the quality does appear to still be good on all of them, even though the pink canvas is you know thicker than the red and the cognac and honestly y'all um if this is your first time purchasing a lid shopper um i don't think you can really go wrong with it i think that the quality is still pretty decent when it comes to that um, my only suggestion to you is to make sure that you're checking the description prior to actually purchasing the lids if you're picking it up from um, a website or a store other than MCM because I have been seeing a lot of different descriptions when it comes to the Liz Tote now um, and some I've actually even seen where it says faux leather so be very careful when you're looking at the description of them um, like I was saying like all of the leather trimming on my bags are the pebbled leather I do know that MCM recently increased the pricing of the Liz from um, $6.50 to $6.95. And my only explanation for that, just for me doing my research, is that the leather trimming on the Liz totes that are on the MCM site now are made of Napa leather. I did actually recently find one video where uh, someone did purchase the newer version and it was made of Napa leather. So I'll also leave the link to her video below. That way you all can check that out. So yeah guys, that's pretty much my comparison of these bags. Um, I do think that the Liz totes are amazing totes. 
steal. So yeah, definitely check them out if you're interested in these bags. And I also wanted to mention one more thing too. I forgot to mention as far as the inside of the bags go, on the red here, it actually comes with black and white interior. The color is black and white. And it is a cloth material. And then when it comes to the pink, it actually comes with a brown, like a brownish kind of color interior. And then the cognac lids is going to be the same as the inside of the pink, meaning it is also going to come with that brown kind of, um, that brown interior color as well all of these bags are reversible too so you can certainly reverse them if you chose to but yeah y'all that is pretty much my comparison on my list and if i did not mention to you all at the beginning um all of my bags are the medium size so they do come in a larger size too but again mine are the medium size and i absolutely love them um if you have any questions also, please leave them in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them for you. And if there's anything else you want to add to when it comes to these bags, then also leave those in the comments below too. But I really hope that this video was very helpful to you all. If you enjoyed it, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.